with the world living in quarantine and everyone practicing social distancing, many professionals are forced to work from home, or at the very least, work away from the office. Even here at Tech District, we find ways to work efficiently using technology even when we are far from our workplace. So we'd like to share with you 10 ways tech can help you work remotely or from home. Before we begin, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and stay updated with our channel and the tech industry. Number 1. Prep that battle station. When the order came down from the office that you're going to have to work from home for a few months, it's normal to feel a sense of panic and confusion. What to do first? How will I work efficiently? So our first recommendation is to start choosing a space at home, either in the bedroom, the living room, or that office space you already have. Make sure there is plenty of light and is not an area of the house where people walk by often. Most people would already have computer areas for their desktop PC, and if you're a laptop owner, we suggest a permanent workstation as well, where you will be spending the majority of your time being productive. Also, if you own a PC and a laptop, it's important that you choose a main unit when you start working remotely. Jumping from a PC to a laptop while working can lead to confusion, and the most common question that pops up in the end is, where did I save all those files? Lastly, if you're working away from the office, we recommend you don't share your PC or laptop with anyone in the household. Working online means you'll also be working with other people online as well, and multiple PC users could lead to security issues. So, if you have people who also need to use your PC, go with your personal laptop instead, and at least for the duration of the quarantine, try not to share. Number two, turn your laptop, TV, or phone into your workstation. Some people might not own a PC at home. As a matter of fact, most students and young professionals these days go with productivity laptops and smartphones. So why not transform those mobile devices into workstations while stuck at home or in your apartment? Laptops are great devices for work on the go or even taking it anywhere around the house. Well, almost anywhere. But working long periods on a laptop with the screen so close to a cramped keyboard can lead to you slouching and later on giving you back and neck pains. And let's be honest, those trackpads below the keyboard, they're not really that good. So we recommend plugging in a keyboard and mouse to your laptop and moving your laptop monitor a little bit further as well as elevating it so it's as if you have a PC. As a matter of fact, you can even use an HDMI cable and plug your laptop to an external monitor. Even better, how about you just plug your laptop into a TV, use wireless keyboard and mouse to be productive right in your living room. Alternatively, you can turn your TV or monitor instantly into a PC by using Google Chromecast or the Intel Compute Stick. Sure, these aren't the most powerful computers in the market, but if you need to create a workstation on the spot, these devices are perfect in getting you productive at home. Lastly, if you own a Samsung smartphone, you're in luck. The Samsung DeX transforms your Samsung phone into a desktop computer the moment it's plugged into an HDMI adapter via USB Type-C. Most people have their work files already on their phones, so why not just turn that phone into a desktop mini PC and hook it up with a keyboard and mouse, either via Bluetooth or via an adapter. Unfortunately, Samsung smartphones are the only phones right now with this function. Android 10 does have a desktop mode for other smartphone brands, but getting them to work is a bit tricky. We recommend non-Samsung users to just stick to laptops for now. Number three, light, air, water, and food. Self-quarantine and isolation can lead to many problems for those who work remotely away from the office. Sometimes you could even lose track of time, forget to eat or drink, or just never sleep. This could later on lead to many health issues, so we recommend to keep track of everything when you're in lockdown mode. During regular work hours, we get used to routines such as waking up, going to work, and coming back home, rinse, repeat. 
But quarantine has changed all of that and most people can easily lose track of their own routines. That's why we recommend to keep track and control everything with your phone and smartwatch. Make sure your room is in the right temperature with good airflow and proper lighting. Modern air conditioners these days come with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi features with apps you can control via smartphone. You can even set the time and temp depending on the day. If your air conditioners don't come with such features, take a look at your remote and set timers for your units. If done correctly, you can set them so that you will never need to touch the controls again. Always make sure you have enough light coming into your workstation or whatever room you spend the majority of your day in. Some people spend too much time in one room with artificial light only, making them forget the time of the day and forget to eat, drink, and even sleep. There are a lot of smart techs in smart homes that give you control over your curtains, fans, and even light with just a touch of a button from your phone. We recommend to give these techs a chance and set them on a proper timer. All this technology will help you keep track of the outside world even during the lockdown. Lastly, make use of your reminders. Your phone already comes with reminder features in your calendar and task app. Set daily reminders on your phone even for the little things such as to drink water every 20 to 30 minutes, have breakfast, lunch or dinner, and of course getting up and moving around for 15 minutes every hour. If you have a smartwatch, even better, you can get it to alarm and vibrate to keep you from drifting away while working remotely. Number 4. Upgrade your communication setup. Communication devices are sometimes taken for granted because we already have these devices that do them so well. But when you're stuck at home or away from the office, communicating with your boss, employees, or colleagues can be more constant than ever. That webcam on top of your screen might no longer be enough and forget about the laptop microphone. Definitely atrocious quality. If you want to make sure you impress people you work with or you work for, start thinking like a call center agent. Headphones and mics are essential when you want to communicate clearly with others. Using a separate microphone is also good. Modern webcams do great with video, but their built-in mics are usually subpar. Investing in a combo headphone and mic or earphones with a separate mic will go a long way in communicating with your employer or your employees. Also, make sure you choose the best apps for your team meetings and be able to keep track of your work or with your employees' work. Communication apps like Skype and Zoom are perfect for web meetings and apps like Time Doctor and Terramind are great in keeping track of your projects with your team or keeping track of your employees. So go ahead and make these investments. You will surely impress the higher ups and show that you are dedicated in staying connected with your workplace even when you're at home. Number five, make sure your internet is the best it can be. Okay, so obviously your work output is only as good as your internet. If you're setting up your workstation, you have to make absolutely sure your router is up to the task. If your PC or your laptop is set in your workstation, it is imperative you hook them up to a landline. Wi-Fi is great and all, but there can always be chances of interruptions with the reception. LAN guarantees you get the best connections from your internet service provider, with greater speed and lower latency, even with your laptop. Setting up your router in your workstation is crucial and we don't recommend relying on Wi-Fi all the time, especially when you're in a meeting with the boss. Did you know that there are also LAN adapters for smartphones via Type-C, Lightning Cable, or Micro USB? If you have an important teleconference, but you have to do it via your smartphone or tablet, we recommend plugging in a LAN adapter to your smartphone and tablet and ensure the best communication possible. And please, don't hold your phone while in a web meeting. It's too shaky, it can get cumbersome, and it can annoy everyone in the chat room. Investing in a phone stand or a tripod can keep you hands free and keep everything professional. And lastly, number six, back up your files and your energy. 
We'd like to end this list strong by recommending strong cloud saving services to back up your work and all your files in case things hit the fan. Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive are powerful tools in backing up your files automatically. And you can even sync your files from one PC to another, even on your phone or tablet. Most services are also free with good business models. So yes, backing up your files via USB is fine, but cloud services save your files automatically and you can access them across all devices without the need of a physical flash drive. Cloud services are also great in sharing files. You can create universal office folders via cloud services so that everyone can access them and even make live changes to those files like Google Sheets. Lastly, invest in a good UPS backup battery for your PC. With skeleton crews working across the world, you never know if your local power district is understaffed. So when power outages come along, you can feel secure knowing your PC has enough juice to stay on and save everything. As a matter of fact, routers and internet providers can still function even during a power outage. If it's simply a brownout in your district, chances are your internet service provider is still active. All you have to do is hook your router up back to your UPS backup battery and you can get LAN and Wi-Fi still working for at least two to three hours depending on the power supply you invested in. And that's it from us here in Tech District. If you found these tips helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. We try to put content out daily, so make sure you don't miss a beat. If you have any other tips you would like to recommend when it comes to using tech to help us work remotely, we would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.